The Hearthstone Masters continue as, as day number one thins down the ranks. Who is going to survive? Who will move up? As you can see in the back, players like Race from Latin America and Grand Masters representing uh, Brazil as well as uh, all of his fellow compatriots over there in that region. And we have a few other players that will be joining him potentially in the winner's matches. We're going to go into round number five momentarily, but uh, let's go ahead and reintroduce ourselves for people who may not know. My name is Frode. I'm joined by Brian Kibler. Hello. And uh, we've had a, uh, a lot of set of games and very interesting priest versus priest. Oh, wow. that that last match was, was really something. Yeah. Game one, game one and three were, were, were all just like kind of kind of blowouts, right? And game, game two, two looked though. like it was going to be a blow. And then I mean, we were almost writing it off in the booth. We we're like, okay, this is he just had the the cleric and the extra, and then it's like, oh no, you're dead. Take take like forty five <laughs> damage in one turn from from cleric circles. It was really cool. It was great. It, it, it reminded me of the summer championship from last year and uh, really fun times uh, when it comes to Northshire cleric and circle of healing on both sides apparently. Uh, coming up next, we're going to dip back into Druid land with Eddie versus Pikachu. Now, we don't know uh, too much about Pikachu, but we do know uh, a decent amount about Eddie, who played in Season 1 of Grandmaster. He used to go by the name of Sohyun, um, and then has since changed his name uh, accordingly, based off of his entry into GM, wanted to kind of have his own identity as opposed to latch onto that of a K-pop star that he used to be a fan of. I didn't even know that was where it was from. Yes, it was his favorite uh, K-pop artist, I believe. Okay. Well, specifically a person in a K-pop band group. Okay. That much I know, I don't know anything else besides that. My my uh, my name comes from my favorite person. Yes, which is me. Your favorite K-pop star. No, it's me, <laughs> Mr. Brian King. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, Eddie versus Pikachu, uh, Druid being able to be represented here. It's like very few amount of Druids in the field. We actually, it was just lumped into the other category, right? right. We had we had a, a metagame breakdown. that was like Mage 120, Warrior like 60 something, and that literally there was the uh, the the Druid. I think it was Druid, Warlock, and something category. And it was just, that was like 30 or something like that. Yeah, well, we're going to check out uh, this match here as both players are 3-1. and one. A 4-1 and one record would be pretty solid to start things off. And what on earth is happening? Whoa! I see All two right. dragon. I see four legendaries. This is, this is Highlander Dragon Hunter. That's... Wait, what? Did Pikachu just start with, like, Rafam? Is he just hands is all, all I, I, I feel like what he actually did was... seemingly random. I feel like what he did was uh, typed in Legendary into the search bar. It is a Dragon Hunter. Carry and Drake. I have never seen that actually played. Yeah, that... Like, he's unironically playing Carry and Drake... Um, which, for people who don't know, is if a minion die this turn, gain poisonous. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy that I, I like was unable to pull up his deck list in time because I, I had the just the the sheer joy of seeing this. He's three and one, and just and just getting to appreciate it is happening in front of me. I mean, he's basically letting Druid finish the quest f virtually for free. <laughs> um, He's not really going to do anything except hero power here. Well, I mean, this is, <laughs> to be entirely fair, this is one of the reasons we don't see Dragon Hunter very often. Well, he's 3-1. Because this is, I, I'm, not, I'm not doubting that he's been able to have success, but, you know, the the cost of having so many high-cost cards in your deck when you are playing a class that typically you know, relies on getting and keeping the early board, this is, uh, this is pretty brutal. All right, well, he does finally get to get the tempo. He drew the wrong half of his deck, unless the other half are equally expensive cards. <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm Eddie, I'm, I'm kind of, I'll am i ride this all the yeah. way to the bank. Uh, I mean, absolutely. Ooh, Scale Worm. All Not right. quite on time. We wanted Scale Worm last turn. So right. Quest Druid being able to draw a lot from the Crystal Merchant is very it's pretty cool. brutal. Yeah. It, it was one of the most important uh, cards that I found to be in the deck, largely because... Uh, Quest Druid does such a poor job in the early game to do anything to the board mm -hmm. that it helps you not only, of course, uh, draw cards, but stabilize just a little bit. Look at how good Bees is here. Killing the minion, leaving a 2-2 two -two al alongside it to Power of the Wild. Oof. Crowd Roaster. <laughs> this guy is living my dream right now. Yeah. Is more, this, more is this like, your favorite player it's now? More, more like living my nightmare, which is that I want to play all these sweet dragons, and I just have a handful of gigantic dragons, and my opponent has, you know, a quest online. I mean, and he, he has, like, just 
straight up Deathwing and King Cruise. Yeah. And I mean, that's a lot of damage. If it's he can true. stick him. The thing is, Eddie has ways to heal, and he's got all of his turn six cards online with the Hit Oasis, the Tendies, the Nourishes. Oh, man. Oh, well, oh, we found it. There's down on him a brand. Just what we need, another seven plus cost card. How, but it, how it is, it is, is this deck doing it? I just want to know. All right, I'm, I'm going to pull up his, his, his deck from Battlefy, and then I'm just gonna build it, <laughs> and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything just else for the rest of the day face, other than right? play this deck. You just, you just go face with this, yes. Yeah. He's another King Cushion. Yes. Hand. Oh my God. And then when, glorious. when when Eddie's like done building the board, he just <laughs> he just death wings. All right, so. Eddie clearing and pushing Temple a little bit. Zuljin. Okay. So, Pika 2, next turn has Unleash the Beast and Unleash the Hounds. Unleash everything. And then uh, Zuljin to help retaliate to the board if he needs. This turn, you could just Zilliax instead. Yeah. The Zilliax can take out the Oasis Surger and give him a bit of, a bit of life to work with. Right. That's kind of the thing about the quest druid. Hidden Oasis, a very important card to allow you to rebound after you've spent so much time allowing your opponent to hit you. I'm just like, I, I pulled up this deck and I'm just looking at it in awe. It's so glorious. How many legendaries are in this deck? All of them. <laughs> How many do you think? Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you All guess. Right. I'm going to guess at least 10. You're actually off. I mean, it, you're not off in that there's at least 10, but there's actually 13. There's <laughs> 13. Almost half his deck. Are how, how many cards in this deck do you, do you think cost 10 mana? Uh, I'm staring at two. I'm going to say three. It is three. He also has Emerus. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait, that I makes sense. I love this. You this Emerus is so into King glorious. Crush. You Emerus to King Crush. Wow. I guess it makes sense if you queue into Warrior, because they'll just let you do whatever. And he just plays Emrys into King Crush, and, and then Alex Strauss's. <laughs> Not in that order, of course. I I really don't believe it. Okay, Deadly Shot. Um, so the Ooh, Deadly Shot's actually pretty good because it gives you uh you can you can uh, unleash the beast into Deadly Shot this turn, which gives you. The second Unleash the Beast and another Deadly Shot in your pool if you Zulge in the following turn. Yep. I don't mind it. And there's also the Carry on Drake Unleash the Hounds combo. Okay. Average outcome. Not the best, not the worst. This Ooh. scenario is pretty scary, though. It's very scary. I mean, Eddie could push for lethal. Yeah. This is quite nearly a worst case scenario. <laughs> I kind of like what. Eddie has with the Chef Nomi. That's not necessarily a card that I saw a lot, but it makes sense given that Questrude a lot of times could just run out of threats. And that is a way for you to just find like find a way to generate threats. Um, I That's one of the biggest criticisms with Questrude that I personally had. And so what I ended up doing was I tried making it into a Malagos Druid to try and actually like draw to the end of my deck and fatigue out and then have all the combo pieces. But then I ran into consistency issues. I needed a lease a lot earlier. I needed other things. Oh, and he does have a lease. Cool. This is a very interesting deck list from Eddie. Yeah. I mean, well, I saw I saw bits and pieces from the uh, the bonus coverage rounds, but I mean, I now there's opportunity to actually just play Crowd Roaster and Unleash. Yes. Seems good to me. Yeah, so now now Pika 2 has, has not only answered the board, but actually developed meaningful threats of his own. Right. Do you think that this was, I mean, d if Eddie went for Scenarius, this wouldn't be able to happen? Well, Scenarius would have, you know, would have pushed more damage, and it, it does significantly reduce the impact of the Unleash the Hounds, right? Yeah. Like, it makes me think that Eddie might have been able to to hone in here and maybe go for the lethal push. But of course, it, Druid doesn't really have that direct damage outside of swipe uh, with Crest Druid. You're much more board-centric. 
All right, well, Cenarius is coming down, and that, that is definitely Zildjian time. Sure. Yeah, Zildjian. <laughs> All right. Can I, okay. so for your, your prediction thing? Yes. Can I just choose Pikachu right now? Sure. All right. If he My wins, choice. I'll give you 200 packs. Yes. Pikachu, wins. I choose you. <laughs> I don't think I, I, I'm not sure what to feel, but it is pretty awesome. He's he's hanging in there, you know, and he does have a handful of threats. He has Octosari. He does. Is that just in his deck? Yeah. It is. Yeah. He just plays Octopus Man. In, in, in none of his secondary tertiary decks does he consider removing it. Oh, it's just core. Yeah, it's just, yeah. just in the deck. See, Killer, you've been doing the Dragon Hunter Reno brand decks all wrong this I, entire I, time. What, what is wrong is that I haven't been doing them, apparently. I haven't tried. Wow, how dare you? You call yourself the Dragon Master? Yeah. <laughs> you have been wow. dethroned, at wow. least for one day. <laughs> Killer's just staring at I, Pikachu uh, and says, this guy's my god. I'm, I'm, I'm just staring at this list, and I'm just, uh, ooh, it is... It, it makes me so happy. Right. Elise with the two times uh, Chef Nomi, which makes sense. I was, you know, I was trying to think, like, how do you find a way to uh, generate threats with just one Chef Nomi? Well, let's get two of them. Okay. So, now that we've gotten here. Now we Alex draws with a face. All right. I'm down. Alex draws the face, King Crush Lethal. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be that clean, but it's a setup. I'm mostly rooting for Pikachu to win this game because I want to see him play this deck again. <laughs> like, I, I just want to see the next game involving this deck. Oh, you're right. It's a 1-0. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie has a 1-0 lead in this series right now, so... Uh, I don't know how he possibly could have won the first game against this deck. It seems it seems inc inconceivable to imagine it losing. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not one to disagree with you often, Kibler, but uh, I could I could see how it would lose. Oh. Maybe one. Game. You 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 are some sort of visionary. Who <laughs> I just I, I can't I can't fathom it. Carry on, Drake. Challenges any minion that he plays. The blood in his floop. So that makes sense. So you have Elise, the uh, the new Elise legendary, and then you have the blood in his floop, and then you can get much a bunch of Chef Nomis. Yeah, this looks a lot like a, a deck that I saw uh, Abar, who's uh, one of the producers on uh, the Hearthstone Grandmasters. He's the producer, the producer. for Grandmaster. Europe, Europe. Yeah. Masters. Uh, he he's also you know was a one-time championship competitor himself, and he was he's been playing a deck that that looks very similar to what Eddie's playing right now. I'm not sure if that's you know the deck Eddie's playing or, or whatnot, but the the whole idea is that yeah you against controlling decks you just know me Ooh. endlessly. Ooh. So this is a really cool play here from Eddie, which is to hide his fully transformed final stage. With War Druid Loti, um, it has spell damage, so he has the <laughs> double starfall, uh, and even ways to push damage with um, the power of the wild. Yeah, very cool, very clever. And he's got the overflow in his yes. hand too. So what is stopping Pikachu from just Alexing the face and going for it? It's a lot of damage this turn. It's thirteen damage. Eddie has played uh, one copy of Hidden Oasis. I imagine I'm gonna pull up his, his list right now. Find if he has a second copy. This unfortunately oh, means I have to take wait. Pikachu's deck off my screen. I get what's happening here. You play Octosari and then you play Deathwing. Ooh, <laughs> holy cow! <laughs> I had not actually considered. Wait, that. whoa! Uh, he just he just straight up Deathwinged. Ah, but the but the king, all the dust, all the value. 
No, I, I, I mean, how I, I, dare you, Pikachu? Honestly, I get it. Right, like, what he's doing here is he's he's trying to say, okay, well, you know, I I need to to stop you from having this board control, having the ability to actually just preemptively answer this. But look at Eddie's hand; he's got Starfall, Starfall. Worst case scenario, he can just kill this. I mean, he has Wardrobe Lodi. It's just like a poisonous trade. Right. He 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 can choose to use the uh, the floop as Lodi right now as well. Yeah, yeah. And in th three turns, because he can draw with the Wrath, he's gonna have the sh uh, Chef Nomi online. I I'm very sad that we didn't get to see more of that hand play out. You know, and because I actually do think there was maybe some merit to playing Bactasari in that position. Because then you also just draw cards, whatever, you know. If your opponent kills sure. it. If not, you just Deathwing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I w> <laughs> Sorry, I Sorry, it's so funny to me. It's pretty great, yeah. yeah. Uh, here is Starfall, Starfall, taking down the Deathwing. So, unfortunately, Big Dragon falls to, falls to the stars. Yeah, I and mean, now it's... Now Pikachu, he's, he's drawn most of the powerful cards in his deck. And, you know, now he's drawing from an empty hand. He could draw Emerus with no, with no cards in his hand. Doomsayer. <laughs> oh, man. Well, gets that out there. That will at least yeah, stop development. Eddie from... Uh, Oasis Surger, though, doesn't JK. stop that. Ugh. Oh, man. And the Forbiddenness Floop for massive tempo. It's yeah. very funny that Forbiddenness Floop actually makes a stronger Oasis. Yeah, and now that's just lethal damage. Wait. Oh, Zephyrus! Wait, wait, wait. Lethal damage, Hold on, but Brian not Kibler. anymore. I mean, it's twisting nether because you're dead otherwise. Well, it, you could take brawl. Hope your your Zephyrus wins. Like the, it, so the thing is, how far behind do you think you are? Right. Very far behind. So really? I actually think there's an argument to take brawl. So and, and, and hope brawl. that yes. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I think there's an argument there. Yeah. Because if you think, okay, well, if I if I have this, oh god, King Ferris, oh, boom! Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Well, that is not gonna cut it with a Dragon Moss Scorcher here. Yeah, Pika two. Can we can we just see another game? Like, can <laughs> we just? I'm I'm so sad. Uh, I'm crushed, really. No, but it's okay. Avert your eyes. Valiant effort by Pikachu, yeah. but uh, it turns out Earth types are very strong against Electric types. Oof. In that fact, a, is that, uh, is that true? Oh, it it is true. very true. Okay. Ground type is actually just straight up immune to electricity. Wow. According to the uh, the Pokeverse. That's I mean that's why it was two O. Yeah, not e it was it was not very effective. No. Let's just put it that way, Killer. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>